Oh my god, Tim, we're oh, Give us a break. Fuck. Residents angered by noise from student festival. Festival organiser Celian Rodian said the ban on the main stage was finished by 11 pm on Monday and the smaller venues were at a much lower level. We will reduce sound levels for the rest of the festival to try and make things better for residents. I can't believe we've got the front page. We've What's never that? been on the front page of anything. Well, it's a good picture, isn't it? I like the way on the stage. It's a, it's a great shot. This goes out to the entire county. <laughs> That's quite a big newspaper. It's just what they don't need. Any more complaints today and next year's event could be in doubt. Makes me feel... I don't know. It is very hard having this event here. I don't know what I can do to make it better. I mean, we're, you know, we obviously are worried about it. This has been one of our biggest problems this year, which is kind of frustrating when you've put the, you know, everything in place. But there's another problem boiling. Fun, Mike. You bastard. £15.83, I think you owe me. I do sound like a tosser, don't I? <laughs> it's getting right on my tits at the moment. You went to public school, I expected you. <laughs> you're taking water, you've just shut everything down down there. Someone's been tapping his water supply. Bastards. And now his farm, restaurant and shop have been left dry. Perhaps instead of posing water. around with cameras and walking Mike, around, we just get things organised. Can you not shout at me, please? Oh, not fair. Don't give Mike. me that crap, no. Mike? Mike? Water again? Water again? Yeah, I mean, how many times have you had to come up? And now, you've shut us right down down there. I know you say I shouldn't shout it, but the only time I get any response is when I shout at somebody. People didn't know not to use Mike's supply to fill a Bowser rather than our tanker. And Mike's a very honest guy and said, I'm fucking angry because I've got no water in my cafe. And I couldn't agree more with him. Um, so that's solved. Well, I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> it feels like one thing after yeah. another. Yeah, thanks. Oh my God. But nothing's going to stop them enjoying their last day. After all, it is their festival. You can feel the need to be glued to that production office. It's good to be getting out and seeing it because um, I think you can be, feel very disconnected. You know, you can almost like everyone keeps coming back going, oh my god, it's going so well. And we're like, really? With a packed site and the bars doing great business, things are finally looking good. Today is our last day. We can't be like, oh, tomorrow we'll do it. So today, I'm on a fucking mission. As much as it's such hard work, like it's so important we enjoy it. <laughs> Four and a half thousand punters are doing just that. They're having a fantastic festival experience. And for their money, it's mission accomplished in and see.